Nah, hey, today we here with one of my managers, Jacob. We about to go through the enterprise process and hire a new employee. I don't know if I got my thing on. I have it off. Cause okay. We're to... Cool. Yeah. We got the intro to the hiring process, Amazon DSP delivery hiring process. Me and Jake about to sit in the interview and see if we about to bring this new employee on board. Jake, what are some good tips you look for like when you're interviewing? Like, what do you want the people to be like? Just to give us some advice. So I'd like to see their attitude. Attitude talks about everything. Your first meeting with somebody is it, it speaks volumes, right? So. I want to see them energetic. I need to see them willing to, you know, ask the questions about the job in particular, you know, and then from there we'll go on. Um, you could also see it in their eyes too, like, you know, shying away a little bit if they're deterred from working here or not. Some are just ready to go. Some will just tell me, hey, I'm ready to sign the paperwork and that's that. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. All right. Let's get it. Stop stop she gave us permission to film too. So. Huh? <laughs> What's her name, Shinto? Yeah, Shinto. Right. Yeah, let's get it. Hello. Hi. My name is Jacob. I work for People First Logistics. Hi, nice to meet you. Hey, hey Chantel, how are you? Hi. I'm Sydney Tara. I'm the owner of People First Logistics. Amazing. Excited? Yeah, kind of. What bring you out today? So, in front of you, you got your paperwork. Uh, before you fill that out, let's talk about that. Ready. Right, and let's just talk about that. She's, She's ready. She's ready. Yeah. So, I like that. A little bit. Um, when you're going to be working for People First Logistics, um, we're big on, you know, people first, right? That means putting yourself first, putting the customers first as well. Um, when you're making these deliveries, we want to make sure that these packages get to the customer without, without any kind of doubt, okay? I know there are sometimes it might be difficult to get a package to a customer, but we go above and beyond at People First Logistics. Even at the end of your route, at the end of the day, we always wanna make sure that if you do have a package in your truck, we wanna reach out to that customer to make sure that they can get their package in a timely manner, right? Um, when we're delivering, we're out there all day. Our start time is nine o'clock in the morning and until you're usually finished with your route. Um, your routes can last, well, it varies on the driver. Some drivers can do it in a couple hours. Some can take all day, depending on the route that Amazon would give to you. Sometimes those routes could be like 90 something stops, 100 plus packages. Other times you will see it at a high stop count, 199 stops, 300 plus packages. They're gonna be out there all day. Um, I got a couple questions for you. Are you able to lift 50 pounds and up? Yes. Perfect. Are you comfortable delivering in all and every weather condition? <laughs> Not in hurricanes. Well, I, I, I'm sure Amazon would close the station oh, if they if things like that happen. But yeah, yeah. I okay, <laughs> perfect. I like to tell new hires, you know, bring a book bag full of, you know, some extra pair of clothes for yourself. I know when I was a driver, I would like comfortability. I like being comfortable on the road. I hate being uncomfortable. Um, you know, so just grab a book bag for this, you know, some clothes, boots, socks, whatever the case is, to make sure you're comfortable on the road. Um, also, I apologize. Also, when we're delivering, um, it is going to be a little hard for uh, new hires, but Amazon has this way of acclimating a driver to higher routes. So with that being said, it's just you're going to start at a nursery level, and then you're going to work from level one to a level two to a level three. And after your level three routes, you're going to be seeing your extra large routes. You're going to be, that, that's going to be like the 190, 300 plus packages roughly. Um, honestly, it's, it's a pretty decent job you're gonna be alone for the most part throughout your entire day. You'll deal with us from nine to probably like 9.50 and then from there you're just all on your own delivering your routes. Um, keep in mind when um, you're starting your training, you're not gonna just be thrown to the wolves right away. You're gonna be paired up with one of our veteran drivers and they're gonna show you the in and outs of making successful delivery, timely deliveries and making sure you're safe while doing it. Um, I always tell new hires too, to always make sure that if you don't understand the question the first time, keep asking until you figure it out, right? There's never a stupid question, right? Because, you know, there are times where a driver will get lost because, you know, the, the training at Amazon wasn't sufficient enough, but the training with our veteran driver was peak, right? So always ask those questions, even if you didn't understand the first time. Um, also, let's see what we got here. So, let me see, our areas of delivery, since we've moved, we're in Elma, um, Lang 
Lancaster, we kind of get some Springville areas. Those areas, they tend to be a little distance. Um, so your stops will be like five minutes apart. Um, some businesses, of course, but majority of it is residential. So that's pretty good. Um, also, in these trucks, I want to talk about safety. Safety is the biggest thing here for people versus just because especially you're driving. Um, we are not afraid to pull you off the road if you're a dangerous driver. We, you know, we will do it. There, driving safe is your top priority, okay? Because you're in the vehicle. Not really don't care so much about the packages. I care about your safety. You're the one delivering these packages in these trucks. Um, so making sure in these trucks, they have a camera. And this camera doesn't really record you per se. It records incidents, infractions, meaning if you're hard accelerating, hard braking, hard turning, distracted driving with your phone in your hand, these infractions will show us and then we'll tell you about these set infractions. Um, now, what, what peaks as a dangerous driving, your acceleration and how fast you can go? Um, I always tell the new hires, like, you know, when you're speeding, you're causing a lot more problems than you think. You're not gonna get to your stop as fast as you think you are. And then if a cop pulls you over, you just wasted even more time. They gotta do the ticket, they gotta ask you your questions. So now your one minute turned into probably 10 or 20, depending on the police officer and what you did. So, you know, hazard driving is just not tolerable. We do not tolerate hazard driving, um, but we do offer, this is uh, pretty awesome. As People First Logistics, Keep in mind, as the company as a whole, once we reach a fantastic plus, the, uh, we can qualify for your guaranteed hours, right? Um, but we need to beat metrics. The metrics need to be met in order for you to get your guaranteed hours. What are these metrics, right? Safe driving. Safe driving is one of the key things here, and also delivering these packages, making sure that they're going where they need to go. Um, one advice I like to give new hires about dogs, because I actually hear this a lot, when you know dealing with uh, new hires is they're afraid of going in the backyard with the dog hey by all means i am too the dog's not a you know they don't know you they only know the homeowner what i like to tell new hires is if the dog's in the backyard and the customer wanted that package in the backyard of course we're not going to go back there there's a dog so i want to know if there's actually a dog back there start calling the dog rattle the you know the gate a little bit if a dog approaches then yeah i'm not going back there but i'm also not going to leave yet let me try to get a hold of this customer. Customer must be home. Let me knock on the front door. Okay, they answer perfect. If they don't, we got a couple more options, a call and a text and another call. We give these three options before we even think about leaving. Um, just, it, it, it kind of goes above and beyond, you know, cause when, when I'm home and I want my package, I want my package in the time of order. Same with these customers, you know. We always want to respect the customer's properties and what they do. Sometimes you will see, you know, um, customers just being a little bit, uh, belligerent. What I like to tell you guys is in one ear out the other, do not engage. Whatever, they must have just had a bad day, who knows? Who knows what happened in their life, but they took it out on you, that's and just in one ear out the other, have a great day, on with your next stop. You know, it, it's inevitable, everybody has a bad day. Um, let's see, so we are looking for full-time drivers. Are you able to work full-time? Yeah, perfect. Um, keep in mind, it is start time is nine o'clock and until you are able to finish your route. So potentially you could be out there all day for 10 hours. But then again, sometimes not. You could just be having a good day and you know you could come home early. Um, People First Logistics, we have this thing called rescues. Um, let's say, what, what is a rescue? Let's say me and you are on the road, you're finished with your route, but I'm not doing so great out there. I'm struggling, right? Um, a dispatcher will pair you and me up and then you'll just alleviate some of the packages I have just to make it a little bit easier for me. Who knows, maybe I had a bad day, you know, and I'm driving miserable, who knows, whatever the case is, A, B, C, right? Um, you would just come alleviate that for me. But again, it's if necessary. Sometimes it's not necessary at all. You can finish your route and be done with it, and then you come right back to the station, and then the rest of the day is all yours, right? Um, but these are the types of metrics that we look for in terms of Fantastic Plus, these guaranteed hours, right? Um, Keep in mind, we always put the people first. We like to, uh, for the dispatchers, we love to work with our employees, okay? We we understand things happen in life, you know, but communication's key. Um, we're not mind readers, right? If you talk to us, we can work with you. you know, um, 
that's why we say people first logistics because we really do put the people first, right? Um, so if you came up to us with an issue, family emergency, whatever the case is, if you came talk to us, we'll work with you, right? I know some companies, they, they really don't like to, but for people first, we do. We like to put the people first. And, and, and honestly, that's just how we go about things. But keep in mind, you know, just don't make it a habit, you know, like, you must have a crazy crisis if you know you're dealing with a lot of things all every single day of your life, right? Just don't abuse that. You know, we love to work with you. We're always working with you. Absolutely. So um, when I apply for mm -hmm. the position, I put my position open. I didn't really specify whether or not I want to be a driver or anything, but I'm really more interested in dispatching. Okay, so for in the dispatch position, we want to see how you work. We want to see what you're about. Right? Can you handle these routes? Because as a dispatcher, coming at from a dispatcher, there are times where drivers will call out, you need to be able to do this route within a very short amount of time, come back, do everything you have to do at the desk, um, dealing with the drivers on the road. Because as a dispatcher, you're not dealing with just one truck and one route, you're dealing with multiple routes and thousands of packages, right? I always tell a driver, you're dealing with 200 packages, I'm dealing with 10,000. Right. So are you able to do your route fast enough, come back and then do everything at the desk, dealing with the drivers? This is all something that we're going to be looking for. Right. Um, you know, and it's not just that it's 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 going a little bit above and beyond. There are some drivers that I see, you know, they'll they'll, you know, ask about dispatching. Sure, you're fast enough. Absolutely. But we want to see your mentality about it. There are times where it can be tedious and difficult. Um, and especially with some trucks, there are issues with vehicles drivers calling off, um, this, that, the third, whatever's happening in their lives, you know, things happen, right? Um, but as a dispatcher, we want to see, we want to see your attitude with drivers. We want to see your attitude with um, everything in general, really, because you're not just dealing with anything on a computer. You're dealing with people. You're dealing with um, even customer. There's times where I answered the phone thinking it's a driver, but it's actually a customer and they're kind of angry about the delivery and then you gotta kind of got to find a middle ground you want to see what happened that the driver did and what we can do to make it better for them you know it's it just it, it goes hand in hand so we kind of want to start you as a driver first so this is how you're gonna start you're gonna be starting in a standard in a standard vehicle that means just the little prime vehicles over there and then we work your way up once we see your progression being where it needs to be and then you know like you're hardly never calling off, you're always on time, you're showing up, you're going above and beyond, I apologize. So starting off here, working for People's Choice, people you first. always, people first, excuse me, you always thought of as a driver first. Yes, yes. Even for me, the, um, there has never been a dispatcher for People First who hasn't driven, right? We Because we, it, it really does go hand in hand. Like if you want to dispatch, there are times where a driver will call off and there's no coverage. You can call anybody you want, they'll probably tell you no. That means you gotta take the route. You drive it, and sometimes it's easy. Sometimes you drive, you make these deliveries, you come back to the station, do what you need to do at the desk, and then from there, you know, you just gotta make sure you catch up on things, making sure everything has its dots, cross its, you know, dot your I's, cross your T's, you know, making sure it makes sense, right? Um, I'm sorry, yeah, please excuse me. Well, that might be important. Well, we can Hello? Hello? When is the potential start date? Huh? When is the potential start no, date? Let me talk to that man. When we here, I don't, I tell my drivers all the time, man, like, this isn't a permanent job. Like, if you, if you find that this, you should be inspired to elevate through this job. I mean, the turnover's a lot. You can grow with our company as well, though. Don't think it's no growth opportunities, but it's more about the mindset. I want my drivers to know there's more out there. And if you're working for me for a year or two years still driving, get up out of here, man. Get you a better opportunity. I always keep looking for better opportunities. Um, and keep progressing and elevating through life. Um, my people know people first. I do whatever for my people. Opportunities, you wanna go to college, you wanna go here. I could use my network or resources to help try to better position you to get wherever you wanna go in life. So don't think it's just a driving job. Think of where you wanna go in life and where you wanna take this. You could just wanna to drive to get some extra money for the holidays. That's cool too, if that's what it's about. But um, yeah, you can start. Start Monday, whenever if you're ready, if you're ready, what do you think, man? I don't know. So, I got a couple questions for you okay. in terms of, you know, driving. <laughs> it's giving, it went from 
interview to first day of employment to we don't edit it though. <laughs> I love it. So we're gonna we're gonna put you off as a driver first, but a couple questions I want to know are like, you know, from from your delivery aspects, like do you have any questions for me in terms of like you know, like the trucks, your your area of deliveries, like any kind of concerns that you could bring up to me that I can make you feel a little bit better about driving. She just wants the money, man. That's so. So does the routes change? The routes do change. You're never in your area. You know, you could be in one area one day, and then in the next uh, in a whole different area the next day. Um, sometimes Amazon does keep you in the same areas. Sometimes. It just depends on how well you do there. Are some times where you just won't do so well, so they'll put you somewhere else and probably see if you can do a lot better. Um, but honestly, I like your attitude. I love how you presented yourself. Um, may I see a paperwork, please? Thank you. I just want to go over this really quick once I finish looking through this, and then we'll go from your onboarding, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, okay your paperwork looks in order. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to start your onboarding. Um, please keep in mind, we send everything to the email that you gave to us. You're going to be seeing your sling apps, you're going to be seeing your punch in times, your punch out times, you're going to be seeing everything in this email, okay? Um, also, please keep in mind that in this email, we send your, um, a, it's called your DocuSign, not your paycheck. If you don't fill it out, you won't be getting paid until it's filled out. But you, you know, for the most part, we always want to make sure you're paid. You'll always be paid, but we always want to make sure you're doing it the right way. Okay, so please keep an eye on your email, and then from there, we'll start your onboarding. If you do have questions, feel free to reach out to the dispatch phone number. I'll provide it to you in a little bit. And then from there, any question, we are open from um, our lead dispatcher usually comes around 7, 7.30, and then pretty much until 8, we are open. And so so we're, feel free to give us a call, and then we'll answer any questions you've got. How long is your on? So our onboarding process is a little, um, it is timely. Sometimes I've seen somebody in here quicker than a week, sometimes two weeks. It just depends on your background check, your drug test. Now, keep in mind, people for statistics, we do not disqualify you if you fail for THC. You just have to sign a waiver saying you're not going to do it in our vehicles, you're not going to drive impaired, and you know, you just need to make sure when you're driving your vehicles, you're at the utmost safety, right? It's your safety compared to everyone else's who worry about you guys, right? So. For the most part, your background checks takes usually three to four days. Um, from there, your drug test. And then after all of this clears up, you'll be dealing here, three days, training um, with Amazon. They're gonna be telling you everything you need to do in order to be successful here as well. But please keep in mind, there are times where Amazon will train you a little bit differently. What I always say, keep what they say in mind, but always, always pay attention to what our drivers are telling you because they are the ones that are out there on the road every single day and they know every single tips and tricks to make sure you're doing it. And quickly, by the way, too. Okay, so let's start your onboarding and then we'll send it to you. Perfect. Perfect.